Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing a ton of different issues within iMessage and I'm going to go ahead and kind of explain and break down some of the most common problems within iMessage that you may be experiencing and exactly how to fix them for the most part. So starting off, I'll go ahead and show you if your iMessage notifications are not working. Now this is very common, especially as soon as you buy an iPhone, this may be happening, but you need to understand that sometimes it may just be a software update issue. Early on with iOS 14, we were experiencing a ton of issues with iMessages not working, specifically with the notifications on our iPhone 12s as well. So when you have an iPhone 12 or some other device like this, the best thing to do is to go ahead and see if there is an update available. So make your way over to your settings app, you want to go down to general, you want to go to software update, and you want to make sure you're on one of the most recent versions of software. If you're on a super outdated version of software, you want to make sure you're up to date. Typically, this will end up fixing some of those issues. Let's say you have an iPhone 10 or some other device and your iMessage notifications are not working in that case. Well, if that's the case, what you can do is you want to go ahead and make your way over to your settings app. So you'll come into a page like this. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and scroll down until you get into messages. So right here, you'll see messages. You want to go ahead and toggle this on and you want to make sure this little toggle right here is enabled. As you can see, I have it disabled. So you want to make sure this toggle is just like this. As long as it's like this, then you know your iMessages are on. Then what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your notification panel. So just like right here, you want to click notifications and then you want to scroll down until you see the messages toggle, which is right here. You want to go ahead and click that. Now, as long as this little option right here where it says allow notifications is enabled, then you should be set for the most part. As you can see, that is enabled. And as long as these are all set to the exact ones that you want, and as long as you have sounds exactly what you want and badges and all this other stuff, then your notifications should theoretically work. As long as these are on, if these aren't on and you're still experiencing these issues, then like I said, it's probably a software issue that's there and you're just going to have to wait until Apple, you know, essentially pushes out an update. So that's how to fix your iMessage notifications not working. And the next thing I'll show you is pretty much if your iMessage activation is not working. So this happens all the time. You know, sometimes you may have just bought an iPhone or maybe you temporarily reset it or you temporarily turn off iMessage, whatever the case is. Well, sometimes if you try to go into iMessage, it will not be able to send iMessages because it's not activated and you may be getting the activation error panel on the front. So a really easy way to go ahead and fix this is to make your way back into your settings. So you want to click right here pretty much come into this panel as always. You wanna again, scroll down into messages. So you wanna scroll down until you see messages right here. You want to go ahead and click on that. Now, once you're here, you'll see a little iMessage, a little badge right here. Again, you wanna go ahead and make sure this is enabled. Now, like I said before, if you're experiencing this specific issue, you're probably going to have to do this. You're going to have to disable it and then enable it again. And it just takes a couple of times. I've done this before. And sometimes for some re for some random reason, you want to make sure that's specifically set. And once you toggle it up again, it'll end up working. Now, there can be an issue if this still doesn't work. If for some reason your date and time is messed up or not accurate to what your specific settings are on your iPhone. So what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your general. Then you want to scroll over to date and time, which is right here. And you want to make sure this is either on set automatically or make sure you're in the correct time zone or, which, or where you're in right now. If you're using a different time zone or your date and time settings are not you know, consistently what you're on now, then you're going to have to make sure those are set up. So as long as those are set up, you should be able to go back into your iMessage you know, settings right here and toggle them back on the specific setting and see if it works then. So that's pretty much an easy way to fix that specific activation error problem. Now this next thing is gonna take a minute to explain, but it's basically how to recover some deleted iMessages that you may actually, you know, accidentally delete or whatever the case is from your iPhone. So there isn't necessarily like a perfect way of going about doing this, but the very first way that I'm going to tell you is first of all, go into your settings and you want to just check if your iMessage basically is synced up with your iCloud drive. So you wanna go into your settings right here. You wanna click on your name up here. You may have to type in your password. You wanna type in iCloud. And then you want to go ahead and make sure or just check if messages is synced up with your iCloud. Now, if it is like it is on mine, then you may have to actually go and quickly turn your phone on airplane mode. So quickly just swipe, swipe down over here, put your phone on airplane mode, disconnect from Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all that stuff. And you want to check if you have any other device connected to your iCloud account that was also sending iMessages. Things like iPods, iPads, MacBooks, even some Apple Watches do have the messages built in. So this is a really easy way to go ahead and actually recover some of those things. And it's something not a lot of people know about. So if you have a device like that, that also has, you know, iCloud synced up with your iMessages, quickly go over to those specific, you know, 
devices, see if they're synced up with your device as well, and just see if you're able to get those messages back. Now, that's a very rare opportunity, but it is just a step, and it's one way to go about doing it. Now, the second way, if you don't see this enabled, or let's say you don't even have, you don't have access to this or whatever, what you can do is you can go ahead and, like I said before, check other devices in general. You want to see any other device you have, iPads, iMacs, whatever the case is, go to those devices, see if you have any messages that were sent by them. If you're talking about, you know, specific Snapchat or Instagram DMs, those are still going to be there, but your specific messages here, you will only be able to get them back if you have them on another device or if the people who you sent them to send you those messages too, which I doubt they're going to do. But the next thing, which is probably the most feasible thing and the way to really recover all those messages is to check when the last backup you had on your device was. So you may not even know this, but your device does kind of sync up sometimes in the background. So if you go into your settings right here and you go into your iCloud drive, which basically you get there by clicking here, and then you go ahead and go into your iCloud drive, you want to see when the last backup you had on your specific device. So typically what you can do is you can go and click on your manage storage, which is right here. And then it's going to go ahead and kind of load up a little bit. And then it's going to allow you to see when the last backup was, which is right here. You can see it had 1.2 gigs that were backed up. I can go and click on it and you can see which device it specifically was and all this other stuff. And at this point, you could probably go ahead and, you know, recover the backup. So you're going to have to go ahead and restore from a backup. And I have many videos on how to do that. And if I remember, I'll leave a link down below on exactly how to do that. But you can always just Google, you know, how to restore a backup for on your iPhone and basically restore from one of these devices. So that's exactly how to recover your messages from your iOS device. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is exactly how to fix iMessages if for some reason your iMessages are just not sending. Now, as stated before, this can happen for a lot of different reasons. But in this specific case, what you're going to have to do is either check your network and or check your iMessage activation and make sure your iMessages are enabled. So first of all, the very first thing, we're going to go ahead and go into our settings to come into a panel like this. We want to scroll down into messages. So we're going into this little panel, click here. And then once you're here, what you want to do is you want to make sure this little option is enabled. If this option is disabled, you're not going to be able to send any messages. So make sure this little message right here, this little indication is enabled as long as that's the case then you're pretty much almost halfway there. What you want to do is, second of all, make sure your person you're sending the text to is also a person on iMessage. If you're sending it to a fake phone number or a phone number that doesn't exist or an email that doesn't exist, it's not going to work. So make sure you have those, you know, a specific email account, phone number that's actually legit. Now, the third thing is, like I said before, make sure you're connected to a strong network connection or a cell signal that's very strong. Even if it's very light, as long as you're connected to a Wi-Fi or whatever the case is, you'll be able to send out those texts. So in this case, let's say I wanted to send whatever this is, test. You should be able to test and send whatever. As you can see, I sent it and I received it. As long as you're able to as long as you're connected to some sort of network connection, you will be able to actually go and you know send messages. So a great way to test this and make sure you're connected to a strong network right here. So scroll down right here, and you'll see that I am connected to a Wi-Fi. And you just want to go ahead and make sure this is the case by actually clicking on Safari, clicking on anything else, and then pretty much moving on from there. So you should be able to load up a ton of different things. Go into Snapchat, load up anything here. As long as you can go ahead and load things up and move on from there, then you should be able to be set for the most part. If you're not able to load up any Snapchats or web browser or TikToks or anything, then obviously this is not going to work and you're going to have to go ahead and figure out how to fix those things, you know, connect to a better network connection. And then from there, you'll be able to send all your messages and everything as long as you're connected to a strong network connection. If you're still not able to send anything, I'd recommend again, going into your settings. You want to obviously come into this panel. You want to scroll down into general, click software update and update your device beyond the most latest version of software. And theoretically, this should end up fixing your issues as well. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.